Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with day 11 of my 2019 Christmas series. So we're going to do a tag and a card combined, um, but in a simplistic way, okay? We're just going to use some cardstock. We're going to use this beautiful die. This die is from Poppy Stamps. Um, it looks like it's from 2017, so not sure if it's still available, but as always, I will link down below if it is. Um, and I just love the detail. So this is what the die looks like. Um, and if I compare that to my hand, I mean, it's a nice size. Uh, it's about three, just under three and a half inches tall. And it's about... Uh, Going from leaf to leaf, it's about two and a half inches wide, and it's called the Celeste Snowflake Tag. So I've already taken care of my die cutting, and I actually die cut this five times just to get um, some dimension, so no foam squares here. I have my standard A2 size card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and it is a top folding. About 99.9 .9 in all those nines. My uh, card bases are usually standard and they are usually top folding. I get asked a lot why I do a top fold. I can't answer that. It's just something I kind of gravitated to. Um, I do now when I look at the card that I am making, um, I look to to say, okay, what's going to go on the front? Because sometimes if you keep your card this way, it with this being heavy, it can actually sag a little bit. So there are times where I'll do a side fold, but it is very rare um, that I will. That was a lot of gap going on there. But this is going to be my center panel that my image is going to sit on top of. This is just a regular piece of red cardstock. Now, the one thing, of course, I always forget something. I need my sentiment. So I'm just going to step away or step back and I'm just going to real quick choose one. Um, of course, I'm paging through things here, of course, as always. So I will be right back. Give me one second. And I'm back. Okay, so the one that I chose is by Alta New, and I just thought that was cool. Wish big. So fitting for a tag on a gift. And what I also pulled in, I have this uh, lacquer pen. I believe I had gotten it in one of my Hero Arts kits. So I'm going to be using this as well. Maybe. Not sure yet. I may bring in, and I think I'm going to actually, I'm going to bring in my sparkle pen. I'm not going to use the lacquer, but I will let you know what I was going to do with the lacquer. Okay, so I'm going to take care of my sentiment first. So let's just push this all back just a little bit. And I do want to heat emboss this, and I'm going to use a white um, well, maybe a gold. Yeah, I think I am going to go gold. So I'm going to use my stamp positioner and I'm going to look at where I'm going to put that. And let's get our stamp out. All right, so if I look at this... I want this to sit right there. And we're going to try to straighten this as quickly as possible because this usually takes me forever. All right. It's exactly where I want it to sit. Everything's going to go flying. And you can see the detail 
that you get. I mean, this is so thin. I love the way that it extends out over the die, and then you have this beautiful stitch line that goes around that as well. Just gonna prep my cardstock with my anti-static tool. I can't find my pouch. Oh, life is not good right now. Okay, I'm gonna use my Versamark ink. And I'm just gonna put that back in there and pray that it was in there the way that when I did this the first time, because I will probably, oh, yes it was. I always forget to push it down in the corner. It's a horrible process that I do. Let me get that out of the way. Hmm. I think I'm actually going to use my Recollections Champagne. I am a fan of the Liquid Platinum uh, by Ranger. Um, but, you know, again, when you're looking at, you know, costs and savings, I do like my local Michaels. Um, I go there often. They know me by name. And they have recollection brand of embossing powders. And they usually, coupons, you can get them for 50% off if you have a coupon or if you have a 25% off coupon. Um, they also do a lot of buy one, get ones. And that's pretty much how I usually stock up on my um, embossing powders through them. Um, and the champagne is a wonderful, um, a very close alternative to their liquid platinum. So in case you're, you know, looking to save a few pennies, um, I do highly recommend the recollections. Now, again, I don't like you guys to hear me, you know, using my heat tool to heat this, so I will be right back. Okay, we are back. So that is our Wish Big. Um, I love the two different fonts. Um, I love the difference that it has there. I just use one of my microfiber cloths and I just wait till that cools and then I just come in and wipe the powder away. So that is our panel. So I'm just gonna set that aside for a second, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these layers together. Now, when I glue them together, I'm gonna use my art glitter glue and the fine tip pen or needle nose that's on there. And what I'm gonna do is, of course, I'm gonna, wow, that's a lot of glue. You want to make sure you go thin with the glue. And now I'm going to come across. So I'm definitely going to go around the outer edge. But then I'm only going to put a dot in the center. I'm not going to put glue on the other areas. So I'm going to grab another one, turn it upside down, and then place that on top, and then just fiddle with it. Yes, I said fiddle. You can see that these corners, I don't know if you can see that, the edges are going to stay separated. So as I keep adding my layers, 
it should just continue to build up on itself. At least that's what I have found. All right, and again, a dot in the center. And I'm gonna lay down my next layer. And then just basically pinch the sides to make sure that it's even. Pull this down just a little bit push down in the center and now we're going to do the next one and if you're hearing that background noise I do apologize for some reason well okay not for some reason it is the season lots of car traffic um, and we're getting a report just of a light dusting of snow um, so at least I don't know in your area if this happens but in our area I'm on the East Coast I'm in Pennsylvania I'm just outside of Philadelphia um, when we get a report of any amount of a snowflake um, to arrive um, you cannot find eggs, toilet paper, and water because we need to make French toast, drink water, and make sure we can go to the bathroom. So, I'm not quite sure about that, um, but I think everyone's driving around um, probably getting their items at the grocery store. Um, it's amazing. I am not, I mean, I think it's beautiful when it snows. Um, but I am certainly not a fan of driving in it in any way, shape, or form. Um, don't like it. <laughs> if I can avoid it, I will. Um, I will find ways. So I do apologize if you're hearing that background noise. I'll try to, to remove it as best as I can. Okay, so that is... Our tag now you can see if I tilt this over to the side and I'll bend it just a little bit you can see how those layers are just staying apart just a little bit all right just adds a little bit of the dimension I'm okay that they're not straight I really um, I really kind of like that look now what I'm gonna grab I want to put a ribbon on top of that. So I'm going to grab some ivory. And I know for those of you that have seen my videos before, you're going to say, where's the twine? The twine is coming. I always grab um, some twine as well. I'm just going to grab a short amount. We're going to snip that. And this is just some of the twine that I have. Um, I found that on uh, Amazon. And again, I'll try to remember to link through it. I know in a previous video, somebody had asked about it. So I need to make sure that I get that link up there. I, I forget sometimes. I'm sorry, guys. Um, okay. So what I'm going to do is I just want to wrap that around the top or make sure it's at the top let's just say that oh my okay we're crooked but that's okay because all I have to do is pull that and I'm gonna pull that and I want to pinch this because I don't I want to be careful as I'm pulling on this cardstock I don't want it to bend or tear but that is perfect okay so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and I'm just going to put this right up here. Now, I will put glue all around the frame and also all around the inside for the bottom layer. Because I do want that to be flat on the card. I don't want that to come up. So I'm just going to put some dots every so often 
just to get the majority of the areas so that they'll stay down. All right, we're gonna flip that over, make sure that's out of my way. And then we're just gonna set this down here like this. I will grab an acrylic block and quick put that down. <laughs> And I'm going to let that set just for a little bit because um, that's a lot. Of, I just want to make sure that especially around the bow area or the, the tassel area that that sticks down and adheres. I think we're okay. I just like to come in with my nail or a pointy tool and I just like to clean up the glue that has come out from the sides. It does dry clear art glitter glue but this just kind of drives me crazy so I need to help it along and just help clean up those areas. Okay, and you can see that this, these leaves here, not so much this one or this one, but those have actually, they've lift off the card a little bit. So I think that is something that's really um, different. I'm then going to take this, add the glue to my back. That was an awesome sound I think you all heard. Grab that tassel and place that down onto my card base and get that centered. I do like to let the tassel of my tag um, be free. You know, you could tack this down if you wanted to, um, but it'll fit fine in an envelope. Um, it'll fit fine also if you hand it to somebody. So I just like the way the, the tag is just curly cueing itself um, all around. And then what I'm going to find, I'm going to pull out one of my pearls. And we'll put a little dab. Hmm. Put a little dab of glue. My glue bottle's having a mind of its own. I was looking for a tissue. Okay, found the tissue. And I will grab my wax pencil. And we'll just press that down. So it just adds a little bit. Now, what I can also do is add a spot of glue there as well. Grab another one of my large ones. And use that for the eye. So now you've got the, the matching. Now you do know I have to add another one because that's, that's an even number. And you know, for those of you that have seen my videos before, I always, always add an odd number of embellishments. So you know that is just not going to fly. I'm just saying. And we'll go with those three because it's still an odd number. So we'll put one here. Put one here and we'll put one there. Go here. Go 
course. And then we'll pick that one up there. So I don't think I'm going to add anything else. No shimmer, no lacquer. And that is our card. So this is day 11 of the 2019 Christmas series. I do hope you're enjoying this. I hope you're um, getting some ideas, digging into your stash. Um, I hope I've given you some ideas if you have this die on how you can use it um, for card making, not just a tag. Um, so yeah, as always, all of the products that I use will be listed down below in the video description. If you have a question or a comment, please leave those down below as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, I would love for you to be part of my group. Um, you can see all the different things that we do with paper, so it can be any type of paper craft. Make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video is ready for you to watch, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, we ask you to. There's a lot that you all have to do. But after you do that, I hope you do enjoy your day. But always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative. Till next time.